My name is Simran McKenna and I'm here on the Esperanza as an activist and as a climber in the Go Beyond Oil campaign. I grew up in New Mexico in Santa Fe and it's a beautiful little town right at the foot of the mountains, right on the plains, high desert. It's some, one of the most beautiful landscapes that I've ever seen. And I grew up spending a lot of time outside and, and, and certainly grew up with a, with a tremendous respect and, and enjoyment of the natural world but certainly wasn't, uh, wasn't an activist, wasn't, wasn't involved in any sort of direct action. But nonetheless, I graduated from university and found myself with this funny set of skills that sort of ranged from rock climbing to rope rescue, and certainly a passion to do something, to do something with these skills. And I found Greenpeace. I found a, I found a group of, uh, of dedicated and committed and independent-minded activists who are out there really putting themselves on the line, getting involved in a very tangible and a very direct way for the things that they believe in. And that was really what got me started off and I have sort of never looked back. I returned recently from the Gulf of Mexico. I, had, I was there for approximately three weeks in the aftermath of the Gulf spill, documenting the, the, the effects and the impacts of, of this spill. So it was, it was powerful to see, you know, on the one hand you see the wildlife, you see the, these pelicans that are so drenched in crude oil that they can't actually lift off, they can't fly. And on the other hand, you have, uh, you have the people of the, in the area. You're, I was seeing, you know, grown men crying because uh, the oyster beds that their fathers and grandfathers have, uh, have subsisted off of are dying and, and, and may not recover within their lifetimes, within the lifetimes of their children. We've sailed from London to Baffin Bay here off the coast of Greenland. And we're standing here now just a, a couple of hundred meters from the Stina Don drilling rig. This is a rig that Cairn Energy has out here essentially prospecting for new oil. They're searching for, for new reserves in one of the most impacted parts of the planet when it comes to climate change. And where sea ice is retreating and opening up new areas to these wildcat companies to come up here and exploit this just unbelievably beautiful area for profits. We understand that we can't turn off the, turn off the oil pipe tomorrow. We, we understand that the world needs oil to continue functioning but it's a question of whether we want to continue investing in that addiction or if we're willing to take the steps forward to a cleaner, greener future. It's a question of intergenerational justice, it, that, that, that it's a moral imperative for us to be here today stopping this drilling from going forward. So we're out here and we've been sort of chasing back and forth with the Danish Navy and the Special Forces for, for all, over a week now. And of course, they're, they're not the target of our action. They're out here doing their jobs uh, just as much as the, the, the crew and the captain on, the, on our ship is out here doing his job. Uh, undoubtedly, we'll, we'll, we'll run into them over the course of the next couple of days. But, and, and I hope and I trust that that can be a, a totally cordial relationship. Tomorrow we'll be on that rig and we'll be prepared to hang under it in these Arctic conditions, in these very same Arctic conditions that make drilling such a bad idea. Esperanza, Esperanza, this is Foxtrot 3590. Your boats have entered the prohibited area. Leave the prohibited area now. Failure to follow these orders may cause you and your crew will be subject to legal action such as, for example, arrest, seizure, indictment and prosecution. How copy, over. Good morning, Foxtrot 359. This is Esperanza. Thank you for the information. This is a peaceful protest. Our activity have no intention to cause any harm or compromise safety, security, or cause any damage to property or the marine environment. We request you all to cooperate in accordance with the relevant rules of international domestic law to ensure that our right to protest is properly addressed. We are here to challenge the oil industry to move beyond oil. Drilling for oil in the Arctic is incredibly reckless. An oil spill in Arctic waters would be a catastrophe. Any cleanup operations would be impossible to conduct successfully due to the Arctic particular conditions. 
please consider your own capabilities to deal with oil spill right now. In the Gulf of Mexico, there were thousands of vessels dealing with the oil spill. Kern claims to have no more than 20 in this area. An oil spill in the Baffin Bay would cause a massive environmental disaster. We, the human beings, need to move beyond oil and embrace the freedoms of clean energy future. This is uh, first one, uh, three, uh, five, nine. Uh, Roger, understood. Alpha, just giving you a final check-in for the evening. Uh, we are turning in and we will talk to you in the morning.